Good morning everyone, welcome into the channel. Today is Friday and Roger and I are heading out to Pottstown, don't tell me, Pottstown 2A, is that right? 2A, yep. Yeah. We went to 2A last video, I think that was last video, video before, that was last video, and um, we didn't find anything, but we figured we would try the 2A in Pottstown. I thought I had been to it, and Roger's saying probably not. It's in an old Kmart, right? I think so, yeah. I don't think we were ever there. Where else do you think we'll wind up? Um, I'm sure a few other thrift stores that are in the area. I kind of want to, I know it's not the same direction, I kind of want to go to the Goodwill in Montgomeryville again. Because once you get something good, you think you're missing out on all kinds of stuff. But other direction, we'll do that another day. I don't think that Montgomeryville is that far. <laughs> You're always willing <laughs> to go. <laughs> really? I don't think so. I thought Pottstown was north and Montgomeryville was east. It, it is, but okay. I don't, I'm not sure how, how far. Right. Well, we might go. We'll see. <laughs> so, how was shipping out this morning? Good. Yeah. Maybe about 25. 25 things? 20, no, actually, it had more than that. It had 33. Okay. I remember, yeah. Were they good sales? Were you happy with them? Yeah, some of them were pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Clothes, so that was good. Yeah, easier <laughs> Easy, to ship. Yeah, not, not looking for box sizes and stuff like that. that was... Yeah, we got to stock up on the boxes. We went through yeah. that whole mountain of boxes that you guys see in the basement. They're almost all gone. It's crazy how many boxes we go through. All right, now I'm just mumbling and saying anything. Hit that like and subscribe button. We're taking you thrifting with us. no idea what we're talking about. It's probably all made. This is Liberty Thrift. What did we think? Two, Weird? I said 2A. Okay, we thought we were going to 2A. <laughs> we don't care where we're going. We just want to thrift. thrift store, yeah, though. yeah. Good. This is the old Kmart building and this took us, how long did that ride take us? Probably 50 minutes I would say. 50? 45? I feel like I've been sitting for two hours. <laughs> like 45 you know when you take a long road trip, guys, and you get out of the car and your legs are like, you know, all stiff and rubbery? Yeah, that's what my legs are doing right now. We talked the whole way, though. All right, we're going to go into Liberty Thrift, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Just in the door, this place is massive. Look at this. Got a lot of good stuff here. All right, I see a crackle glass vase. Not vase, lamp. What am I saying? I don't even know. $44.99. Oh, that's pretty. All right, I already listed the lamps I picked up in the last video, the two Ethan Allen lamps. So I've got those listed. I got the painting listed. I'm in good shape. I do have a few more things to get listed, but if you guys were waiting for something, you know, that you saw... Um, in the video, it should all be up probably by early next week. Oh, I got a wonky cart. Hope it doesn't drive me crazy. Look at the Christmas trees. Interesting. All right, where shall we start? Wow, I don't even know. I guess we'll go this way. Furniture. Look at the camelback couch. All in velvet. Oh, and I like the picture. I know, I shouldn't be touching the picture. No worries, my hands are so dry. I don't think I have oils in my hands. All right, a print, $30. That's high. How much is the couch? It is $2.95. That's actually not bad. It's not especially old, though. This is a reproduction. All right. We are going to look for... We could use dining room chairs, truthfully. Oh, this couch is nice. That is good quality. Right there. $75. Needs a good cleaning. So for those of you who watch my daughter, Melissa Fresh Blooming Clothing, she has been picking up furniture 
Now, she's not a furniture flipper, but she finds the best stuff. They recently found a table that a famous uh, designer made. This is $3.95. Boy, is this good. That is pretty. It's in this magazine, Peppermint Twist. Look at that. Very cool. Wooden legs. Look at the pull-out drawer. That's where you used to keep your silverware. I think my grandmother had one of these. My yaya. Very neat. Okay, the other shopper that was looking at that table with me uh, said it's a reproduction. Oh. Okay, can I just sell furniture for a living? That would be really good. $64.99. Look at the brass swans. Wow. Okay, this store has beautiful stuff, and I want all of the big things. $145. I think this might be called Empire. I'm not sure about the style. Once again, the store has very loud music. All right, I just want everything here. <laughs> oh, sold. Aaron bought it. What did Aaron pay? I don't know. Am I allowed to check out Aaron's? Okay, it's like a shelf. Not especially great quality, so I feel better. Erin can have it. Okay, lots of furniture, but we're going to be working our way more towards the hard goods. Look at this Chinese chest, $95, five pieces. What? Oh, do I need this? <laughs> Okay, $95. This is quite beautiful. A little bit of chipping. You know, you always hear about people in Goodwill shoppers finding like masterpiece art and um, you know, they make all of this money. <laughs> that could be one of them, I don't know. That doesn't even seem like a real painting. When you stand at it and look at it from the side, I don't see brush strokes. Almost looks like it's little pixels of paint. Okay, I do love these lights here. $30. These are lovely. Mm. Wow. All right, 60 for the two. What would I want for these? I don't know that these are the original shades that came with this. This might be a match. These are glass. This is glass. Yeah, I'm thinking the red is not the original to that. All right, more stuff over here. Beautiful basket, $3.99. $3.99. Okay, that's the first item going in the cart. I do love this basket. And what is this little basket right here? Oh, that's really sweet. Looks like a Nantucket basket to me. Let's see what they're getting for that. I'm liking this store. $2.99. Yeah, we're going to take that too. Oh, this is sweet. African beaded bowl. 35. I don't know about all of that, but boy, that is pretty. Online 35. I don't know what the online is. Maybe online it's 35? I would think they'd have their regular sticker. Yeah, there we go. 12.99. Okay, so now we're talking. Now they're just giving you what they think it goes for online. I am going to put this in. I'm going to ignore what they're talking about online because a lot of times thrift stores are looking up items of what's listed, not what's sold. When you compare items and prices, you have to look at what an item sold for. Yeah, African beaded bowl. This is lovely though. I'm putting that in my cart. So again, we're in Pottstown, Pennsylvania. If any of you want to make the trip 
Um, you know, I meet so many of you guys out in the wild. I, I have met hundreds, if not thousands of you. And it always just amazes me when you guys come from other states to thrift here, just because you saw my videos. I'm like, what? So I have met some of you from Texas, Tennessee, Virginia, Florida. Yep, they just take a road trip and come up here just to um, thrift where I have shown you. And um, some of you actually say you're hoping to meet me. So, guys, I'm really touched. Thank you for all of your love and support. That concept is not lost on me at all. I love you guys. All right. Just a little shameless plug for great subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I always take you with me. All right. I didn't see any. Oh, is he brass? Little kangaroo. Not sure what you would put there. Probably a candle. It's just from Ikea. $2.99. So he's not real brass, I don't think. He doesn't seem that. Seems like a resin that's been painted gold. I guess this is the brown aisle, but a lot of it is not wood. Ooh, this is pretty. Is that meant to be a heart dish? Oh, I kind of like this. $3.99. It is carved from one piece of wood. That is really nice, $3.99. We're gonna throw that in the cart. Here is a Tanala vase. It is marked Cancun. I would have been happier if this did not have Cancun on it. I know it's probably a souvenir piece, but that does limit who wants it. Oh, $5.99 is a very good price. Mexico, and there's the person who hand painted it. Hmm, do I want that? I think, again, that's really going to limit that sale for somebody who wants a Cancun vase, vase from Cancun. All right. Try to, okay, I'm not buying these, but these are really cute. It's almost like a little chenille look to it. That is adorable. Okay, this is gorgeous. $14.99. This decorative ceramic tile may be used as a wall hanging. Hmm, is in Navajo Indian. Okay, I'm on the fence about this. I would have to run a comp on this. I'm putting this in my cart and I will run all the comps at once. Okay, these tiles are interesting. $2.99. I don't know if these are antique or not. It could be just reproductions. $2.99. Yeah, I think they're reproductions meant to look old. Still pretty. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. We're going to be here a while. All right, let's keep going. This is what the basket is looking like. Now, this basket does have some damage, but I don't know. I still love it. It's very hard though, because this is gonna take a very big box. And I don't know if somebody's gonna want this type of basket with damage, but I'm gonna hold on to it for a while. I think I am getting it. So it's not like I'm just throwing stuff in my cart, but sometimes I reevaluate, you know, as I go along. Dressers, I see artwork ahead. Let's do artwork. Let's do big artwork. <laughs> All right, so for those of you asking, I still have not found out who uh, painted the large painting I picked up in the last video. My thought is I may be contacting Dr. Lori. She and I um, kind of text back and forth once in a while. It's not like I really, you know, am best buds with Dr. Lori, but I can contact her to give me an appraisal on the painting, and I might go down that route. I still have a little bit of research to do on it, and you guys have been great in sending me artist names when you do a Google image search, so thank you so much. I am checking out every suggestion. So so far, I have not identified the artist or recognized, you know, any of the suggestions as the um, definitive artist, but I'm going to keep going with that. And I appreciate you guys helping me so much. All right. So this looks to be a print. I do like this. $9.99 does have a signature here watercolor I think that's kind of lovely and I think framed artwork is 25% off yeah I could just read the paper that would help 
All right. I don't even know what today's date is. I'm guessing it's the 28th. So that would be 25% off. So that would be $7.50. I just don't want to ship glass. I'm just, uh, I'm just over shipping glass. Oh, look at this piece. This is like a cruel work with yarn. It's a basket of veggies. Nice. $24.99. So I'm going to wait on that. Now again, it would be 25% off. What is that? $6.50 off? Um, is that even right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm just passing by the back storage room or warehouse room of this place. Oh, that looks like great fun. Look at all of that stuff. Amazing. Wow. Okay, is this plastic? $14.99. Darn, it's plastic. If this was brass, I would have taken this. It is lovely. $15. Okay, so $15 would be $3.75 off. Hmm. Would it be $3.75? $15.750. Yeah, $3.75 off. I did that right. That is nice. Um, still a little bit high. That would be flip for Facebook Marketplace. Might move a little bit slow. I think the most I could get for that is 30. So, a little bit high. <laughs> How's it going? What are your thoughts of this store? Uh, I got pretty much stuff. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. That's pretty much? <laughs> you got a few things, right? Yeah, yeah. What's this? Carhartt. Okay, and what are they charging for the Carhartt? $4.99. Okay, that's good. Is it yellow tag today too? I'm, I'm not sure. I feel like it was yellow tag. Don't no. quote me on that. I know it's 25% off of frames, but I don't remember what the color tag for clothing was, yeah. if there is one. I Adidas, that's so that's the, nice. It must look brand new. Does it? I always look at the cuffs. That's in really nice shape. Okay, yeah, what's the white one? Oh, that is nice. That's yeah. nice. That's really nice. What are they getting for that? $6.99. Nice. Okay, oh, you are doing well. Yeah. I didn't realize you had all of that. Wisconsin, $3.99. Okay. Nittany Lions. Yeah. We are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> $4.99. Only took me eight years of living here. <laughs> Basketball, Dallas, Mavericks. Dallas Mavericks. Okay. Nike. You're liking this store. Well, yeah, New, New Orleans, Orleans Saints. Saints. That's nice. I'd That's like to see that new. on you. Yeah, that is new. Yeah. For Absolutely. Seven ninety nine. Yeah, I really want to find out the color and tag. Four or five games. Okay. Let's see what games. Stratego. Are yeah. all the little guys in there? Yeah, all the little I pieces? It, I it. You did? Yeah. Triple E. Triple E. That does pretty well. Does it? What do you think you'd get for a Triple E? I think I usually get, I think, like $25. For okay. Those. So it's not a huge profit, but... No, 6 into bad. 25 is good. Sequence. It's about probably 20. 20. And deluxe, yeah, let's see. Okay. Two, $2 oh, that's nice. That's Looks nice. in good shape. These do about 15 or 20. Okay. Yeah. I got a few things. I'm not, I don't know, mm. not feeling it yet. But it only takes finding one or two good things to be like, oh, I love this store. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm doing pretty well. Okay. I don't know which... Furniture. I went through it quickly. Yeah. They have Christmas trees too, yeah. just saying. Furniture. Watching that lady pull out like mm -hmm. evergreens in pots and stuff. Do we want a Christmas tree? We don't, right? One of those. <laughs> One of those. <laughs> I think we can haul it today. We yeah. should get a tree, though. Yeah. Maybe we'll just get a small one. Yeah. Yeah, right? All right. If I find out what the color tag is, I'll, I'll text you. Okay. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Okay. All right, so I'm just pulled over to the side to run comps on the few things that I put in my basket so far in my cart. This is $12.99 for this beaded bowl. Now, it is beautiful, but on the back... They have written African Beaded Bowl online $35. So if you don't run comps for yourself, you could make a big mistake. So here are the comps for the same exact bowl 
99 cents it sold for. Kenya, Tanzania, Maasai African glass seed beaded bowl. Handmade basket bowl, six inches. That's what we have here, same colorway, 99 cents. Next one sold for $22, a little bit different. $18.99. This one, a best offer was accepted, so we don't know what the buyer paid, but it was under $20.69. And that is it. So their price of $12.99, way too high. So I'm going to put this one back. Now I'm running comps on the RC Gorman, I believe this is. It is a tile, and on the back... Liberty has given you the price of $14.99 and this description of what it is. So when I run comps, again looking up comps on eBay, here one sold for $5.99, $7.99, $7.99, $10.99, quite a few under $15. So their price of $15, I'm going to say, is comparative to eBay. So not something I'd want to pick up for resale. It is pretty. If I liked it or was a collector, would I buy it? Maybe. So it's always good to check eBay prices, even when you're not a reseller and just collecting for yourself. Still always great to see what they are going for online. Because I'm on the fence about this basket, because it does have, you know, some damage on the side, I figured I would try to find a shelf to see how the basket sits a lot of times certain items will not sit proper they won't sit level and I'm so glad I did this test I used to do this test with quite a few things because it's amazing how many items you can get home with and the item doesn't sit level this basket is meant to sit level it's not meant to sit like this so it might be a beginning artist I don't think it's all that old that it could have settled differently but for that reason sadly I'm gonna have to leave this behind four dollars is a good price but between the damage and it not sitting level I think we'll leave that one on the shelf all right so once again we have pared down which is not a bad thing it just means I'm being really choosy with what I'm bringing home I hear from so many of you that you bring items home and you have no desire to list them. So many people have death piles, so many resellers. You're excited in the store, you buy the items, you bring them home. They either have flaws or you're just not motivated. The way to get motivated to get your stuff listed is to bring things home you're excited to list because you know the profit's going to be good. That's my best tip. Now that seems pretty obvious, but it's amazing when you go thrifting how many times you can just get into, fall into buying things and putting things in your car and you get home and you realize you're really not that excited about them. I'm always happier in a thrift store <laughs> that doesn't try to get all bougie. <laughs> Anthropology rack. So they're identifying brands. Now it is Anthropology, this is Maeve, but $15 for this Maeve shirt. A few of the pieces have stains on them. This is not Anthropology that I know of $20. It gets a little bit like, yeah, they're trying to be upscale. So $15 for a little knit t-shirt. I think they're probably gonna sit on this stuff for a while. This is new with Tags Anthropology, but I don't know that this is a style that would do so well. $20, Lululemon. Now, if you wear Lululemon for running or working out, you could probably get a good deal. But $25 for a pair of Lululemon Capri pants in an outdated print, not so great. Okay, so we just finished lunch at Panera. We got two massive big sandwiches, so good. And now we are on our way to Goodwill, Montgomeryville. Good it's bit. right here. Okay, <laughs> oh, I got it right. I was waiting for you to correct me. Uh -huh. <laughs> This is the Goodwill where I found the artwork. So when I find good things, the store does stay in my mind to see if there's anything else in the store that I might have missed or some new stuff coming in. All right, so this is store number two. The prior store, I'm sure you guessed, I was not thrilled with. Roger did okay. He got about, what, about three quarters of a cart, sweetie? Yeah. And the no. prices were okay, but most of it was overpriced. So I don't know that we'll be making that trip again for that other store, but this store we do like. And are we going someplace after here? I'm um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not you sure. You never know with us. Just not sure where, but 
I'm sure there, we'll find something. All right. And at Panera, I had the Green Goddess Caprese Melt Sandwich. And what did you have? The chicken cordon bleu. And was your sandwich good? That was excellent. Oh, good. Very okay. good. Except for the lettuce. You picked that all up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go see if we can find some more big artwork. Okay, so it's Black Tag. Was it Black Tag last time we came? I don't even remember. This guy never waits. He is off like a shot. <laughs> Deja vu. I feel like we just did this because we did just do this. All right. My eye is trying to see artwork already. Oh, what is this over here? They have like a little tablescape set up. Oh, this is a nice salad bowl. Do like that. Don't be expensive. Be reasonable. Oh, there's no price on it. Oh. Goodwill, you're killing me. Why would you go through all of this trouble setting this out and not have a price on it? Now they won't sell it. Maybe it's on the other side of this. Nope, no price. All right, I'm gonna ask them. Where are these people? I don't even know where these people are. All right, best job in the world, even if we don't find anything. So I saw that salad bowl and no price on it. And in this store, I talked to a manager and he's going to let it go through repricing. So at least he's having it go through the normal process. You know, he saw that I just came in the door and I'd like to see the price on that salad bowl. So that's how all Goodwill should be, in my opinion. Should have to go to a manager and the manager can get it priced. All right, you have a peacock print, definitely a print. I'm not going to go for that. Okay, so our chalk drawing is gone, which I'm glad if somebody bought it. I really didn't want to have to ship something with glass. Not my favorite. This is a print. It is pretty gallo. That is pretty. It's a shame it's got a little damage right here. I probably would have picked that up, even though it is a print. Here we have some kitty cats. Oh, that's kind of cute. $6.99. Mmm, a little high. I do like that, though. Okay, but it's not black tag. All right, we'll put this in the cart and think about this. All right, another pastel. It is signed by the artist. It's nice to me, not as appealing as the last one which I have gone through most of the artwork and I do believe that one's sold, which like I said, I'm really glad it's sold. I'm glad if somebody's enjoying it. Okay, we have some mirrors over here, which again, I would not ship. What is this piece? Older mirror with a wood back. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I think I would rather have a mirror with it framed. Okay. Yeah, these are all mirrors. All right, so the manager did get the salad bowl priced for me, $6.99. I'm going to give that thought. I would have been happier with, I'm going to say $4.99. But I do like it. Now, it's not signed. I don't see any maker's mark. It's just a turned bowl, but the wood is nice. So I'm going to give that thought, and I am taking the cat print. Okay, looking at the back wall, the two white lamps are still here that were missing the lampshade. I don't think this is brass. This seems to be, yeah, that's a ceramic made to look like brass. Pottery. Hmm, I'll have to revisit the rest of this shelf. We're gonna make the left-hand turn. Oh, here's the basket that you guys identified. I think the majority of you were talking about that this is a flower gathering basket. And I guess that could make sense. So you put the stems in and then the flower heads hang over so they don't get crushed. I still like it, but still not enough to buy it. There's a tray basket. I think this originally came with Pyrex in it. That's my recollection of it. Yeah, Pyrex brand. Now this might be a good thing to look up. Oh my word, there's no price on it. Could that be... Ay, ay, ay. I don't even have the energy for going back and forth to the register to try to get somebody to price it. That is quite nice. I will put it in. 
and see if they'll price it for me. Oh, this, I think, I could be wrong, is for the back of the toilet. And you put a tissue box in here and rolls of toilet paper in either one. Does this even go with it? This was produced the highest quality standards. I don't know, Thomas Bacone Classics. I'm thinking this doesn't belong to this, but I guess I could look it up. Oh, it is, it is that maker. That is so interesting. Tell me this has no price on it. Oh my word, what is going on here? Nothing has a price. Is this a price tag? Oh, it might be. I might have gotten lucky. Let me see if I can reach in. It is. Ooh, $9.99. Do I want that for $10? Hmm. Hmm. The sticker does make it interesting. All right. I wish it was green tag this week, but it's not. It's black. $10. I think that's too high, but all right, I will run a comp because it is interesting. The single mug aisle. These little bowls are cute. Oh, those are plastic. It's a big owl mug. Who's making this? Oh, Pier One. See, again, I would not pick it up by itself because to ship this is gonna be like seven or eight dollars and I'm paying three, I would have to charge I don't know, $12? So you figure all in, somebody's gonna have to pay $20 for one mug, that's how that works. And I don't think that's a good business practice to, to practice. Time and table. What is the cow one? Oh, that's actually cute. Who is this? Mware, I don't know Mware. I don't know who that cow is either. Where that cow is going in such a hurry. Oh, it's for a farm. It must be a local farm, and there's two of them. Quarry Hill Farm. $1.99. Cute. See some fish mugs. Nassau, Bahamas. This almost looks like Ray Dunn. Magical. Yep, Ray Dunn in blue. Life is good. Life is good. It's really good. Okay, I see another um, Pyrex type dish down there. Now the carrier is different. I like the one with the leather handles better. I think this is probably, I'm going to guess 1980s, mid 80s. I think this one is newer, if it's even Pyrex. I'm not sure, this might be a no name. So I'm just browsing through the ties. I really don't buy ties anymore, but this one caught my attention. It looks like Millie Fiore, the pattern turn it over it does have a little bit of moisture damage nothing real bad you can tell that it's silk and that it's vintage beautiful pattern when you look at the tag it's hundred percent silk made in the USA which does mean it's vintage and it is exclusively for the Museum of Fine Arts Boston $1.99 will it be a fast seller no but for two dollars Stuff like this I can't leave behind. It's so beautiful. So this is going right in the cart. What are you complaining about? <laughs> All right, look where we are. Oh no. <laughs> we wound up not getting a lot in the other store. I don't know what is going on lately. So we figured we would just go rogue and be crazy and come into the bins on the other side. We came over to the dark side. Just kidding, just kidding. Kidding about everything. All right, what do we see? Why do I keep looking at big furniture? I have no idea. Wow, that's a big chair. It's a lot of duct tape, but that's a big chair. Okay, I guess I'm coming towards this table. $24.99, it's got a wobble. Hmm, let's go dig over in hard goods and see what's going on over there. This is kind of a nice stool. C499, that's a good price. A little tiny bit wobbly. I could use some dining room chairs. Which, do I see anything for my dining room? I do not. Mm, 
Okay, I'm guessing that it's the last bin over here that came out last. I don't know why I think that, because there's the most amount of people near it. Wow. Anytime you see hangers, <laughs> you're taking your life in your hands. And no, I don't have gloves. I can't film with my camera and wear gloves. For those of you who love me and always say, Karen, you should wear gloves. Do you realize how tiny the buttons on my camera are? There's no way that I could wear gloves and push buttons on a camera and wear my sunglasses on my head and wear my readers around my neck and hold a handbag or a crossbody and have my bandolier phone on. All of those things. You guys want me to do all the things all the time. It's not happening. None of it's happening. I'm just kidding. If I didn't, when I didn't film, I should say, before I started filming uh, for YouTube, I did wear gloves. I also wore a mask back then too, even before COVID, because you never know what's in these bins. But now I'm a YouTuber, so it is what it is. Oh, oh, oh. what is this? Is this a hammock? Oh, I was kind of hoping that it was one of those macrame owl hanging things. I like those owl hanging things, but this is a hammock. And a lot of times these, I don't know, I can't get rid of these. I've only sold them once or twice locally, and they took forever. And I think there are so many hammocks on the market that people really don't want the rope hammocks that um, are not treated. They're not plastic. They get mildew very quickly from the rain. I've been in these bins once or twice before and I've never really found great stuff. Pets. Oh my gosh. Are you Christopher Robin? <laughs> Who is that? Red Robin? I don't know my stories. Is it that... Red Robin? I don't know. You have ice cream here and it says Robin. I don't know. <laughs> you realize you just stepped into my thumbnail. You do realize that, right? <laughs> Who's making that's that it's kind of feels clean. like it's clean. I made germs clean. <laughs> you can see germs. <laughs> well, it looks very clean. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm thinking you should get that. You're gonna wear that <laughs> trick or treating. You can trick or treat at my house anytime. <laughs> Let me hold your shirt down. Yeah. Go ahead. I gotcha. <laughs> Is there a brand? I love that you put that on. You had too much fun. What is the branding on it? What's that? Lavender girl? Lavender clothesline. Yes, yes, yes. My wife's a fan of yours. Oh, hello. Well, she watches you guys. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm filming. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. What's your name? Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Even though we're not finding a lot today, meeting a lot of fun people. And for the first time, I met a woman via FaceTime. <laughs> so her husband was here. Shout out to you, Roger. That was her husband. And I guess he dialed up his wife and she came on FaceTime and we met through FaceTime. So shout out to you, Michelle. It was so nice meeting you. So fun. You guys are great. I always love meeting everybody. If you ever see me out in the wild, never feel bad about saying hello. It's because of you guys that I have this channel. So thank you, thank you. All right, Roger and I have decided that we might need Halloween costumes for a thumbnail on Sunday. What should I be? I don't know. It sounds like I'm gonna need a lot of energy for that. He talks. Huh. All right, I think this place is a bust. I don't see anything great. Did you find anything great? You got one shirt? Sure. Yeah. Educated Black King. Okay, I don't even know who made that shirt. All right, are we out? So. All right, this is store number three, and we have not filled the trunk. Just reporting back. So this is to a thrift store in some town. Ooh, I like those chairs. What town are we in? We are in Montgomery, though. I have no idea. Oh, I do like these chairs. 50 bucks. You know what? I think these would be worth it. Wow, these are nice chairs. Okay, my mother once taught me that when you look at a chair, you look at this back leg being all one piece because it makes the chair stronger. My mom taught me the most random facts, but um, <laughs> she's a good mom. 
All right, I really like these chairs. Do we need these? That does not go with my dining room set, but I tell you right now, if they had six of these, I'd be buying these. I don't know how I would make this work for a dining room. And they're two different colors. Right away, my eyes saying, are there any more? These are really nice chairs. Look how nice these are. I wonder who makes them. All right, where would we put these? Oh, yeah. Guys, I'm my own worst enemy. Let me try sitting in them. Oh, not so comfortable. The back spindles kind of go in your back. Hmm, wonder what my husband thinks of these. He's off looking at games. All right, nice chairs, but I'm going to leave them. I love that he looks at all the random stuff like I do. I was looking at those two chairs there and I was thinking if they had six of those, even though they have nothing to do with our decor, I would get those. They kind of hurt your back when you sit in them. So company wouldn't be tempted to stay too long. <laughs> right? Yeah, it sticks in your back. Yeah. Phew. I think it's a good price though. They're nice chairs. Yeah, no, I, th oh, is it for the pair? Oh dear. Two pieces. Oh, that is a good price. I, th I was happy with 50 a piece. We don't want those, right? Tell me we don't want those. He never tells me I don't want something. He'll agree to anything, this man, which is why I love him. It's like, hey, honey, I want to build a circus in the backyard. He's like, okay, what kind of tent do you want? <laughs> Any makers, Mark? It just says made in Indonesia. Oh, we'll pass. <laughs> we want made in USA. Okay, in all the years that I have been picking up these woven bamboo trays, I mean, I can't tell you how many of these things I've sold. I have never seen this like this. Normally, the bottom looks like this, the bottom of the tray, but the sides are like rungs or spokes and then it's this top piece i've never seen this woven piece 449 now to sell two of them not really worth it normally when i sell them i sell eight or ten at a time but boy is that interesting to me small things all right so 449 for the two i would unrubber band them to make sure they're good i don't think i could get more than i don't know eight or ten dollars so not really worth it but i'm just like so mesmerized by this. Literally, I have sold hundreds of these things and have never seen it made like this. So very cool. On the bottom shelf, I'm just noticing this set of monkey pod um, three divider dish pea pods, maybe. I'm not sure what this is. And I do kind of like these. These are great on a bar with like nuts or, you know, just little garnishes. But $4.99 for two, a little bit high, and then my eye spotted a fish. I love this fish. Do we love a good fish? Yes, we do. $4.99, beautiful wood, beautiful shape. We're gonna grab this one. A little bit sad that I had to leave those pea pod things behind, but I think those are more common anyway. So I'm gonna put the fish right in here. He's a good find. Okay, we are now at Goodwill number Four, thrift store number six. Just making numbers up. Oh look, Goodwill is now hiring. Do you want to work for Goodwill? Uh, <laughs> no not, answer. Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> You're always so kind. I'd be like, heck no. You're like, not right now. Oh, I haven't been in this Goodwill in a long time. What town are we in? Where are we? Exton, Exton PA. E-X-T-O-N. E we're looking at golf clubs the minute we're in the door. We're not even in the door. Door won't even close. I want to have a party. I want to use these tiki torches. $3. I think they're cheaper in Target. All right. Does that fit my car? You're not getting a cart? You're just gonna depend on your wife's cart? <laughs> You're just gonna wanna put your stuff in my cart? <laughs> I'm not letting you put your stuff in my cart. How about that? 
This is kind of nice. He's not even paying attention to me. Good husband that he is. Look at that. We're not even married six months and you're not even, you're just ignoring me. You're not even paying attention. What is that, a telescope? All right, a couple of weeks ago, we bought a tent for the backyard. I think we need a telescope to look at the stars. All these cheap vinyl shoes. I'm a shoe snob. All right, now I'm going to have to talk over, who is this, Frank Sinatra singing? Somebody's singing. I should know this. I think it's Frank Sinatra. All right, the clear glass aisle. How uneventful. Those are kind of pretty. Crystal D'Arc, that's my guess. <laughs> oh, we have a crystal biscuit jar, $7. These are pretty. I think they're common though, and I'm gonna guess Libby. Now all you glass people are laughing at me. I don't see anything all that phenomenal. Where's the phenomenal stuff? Is this a Pilsner? It has like an etched floral thing going on. Okay, truth be told, I'm a little tired. We have been thrifting since 10 a.m. and it's now, I think, five o'clock and we've had one break at Panera for a sandwich. But we're gonna just put our big girl pants on and go up and down the aisles and hopefully find something good Let's look at Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> These trees are pretty, but they're modern, right? Yeah. They are kind of pretty, though. I do like that one. Okay. They're not buyer's choice. There, I said it right. Buyer's choice. I know that. I get buyers and briars for horses mixed up when I say it. You guys are just quick on the draw. <laughs> To correct me, which is fine, fine, fine. I'm a big girl, I can take it. Look at these cats with the wreaths on. What is that about? Oh dear. That is not good. What is this star here? Little votive holder. I'm not sure where that came from. I always like to hear what stores these things come from. All right, I think that ends the Christmas aisle. We have a little beaded purse with a kiss clasp. Let's see if we can get this open. Cannot, hold on. All right, so there is the label there. Right away when I open it, you can see it's not vintage. This is apartment nine. So we won't be taking that one today. I'm gonna to leave that on the shelf so it doesn't. Okay, so this is what the trunk is looking like. It's more empty containers than anything else. Was a little bit of a sparse day, but at the last minute, I wasn't able to film, but I got these gorgeous boots, $19.99. They're beautiful, totally embroidered, totally love them. Dan Post. I don't know that I've sold Dan Post before, but right away, you can see that the sole is leather. Very branded, very beautiful. I paid $19.99. No, I paid $17.99. And I also picked up a vintage Victoria's Secret nightgown. So this is what the label looks like when you see Victoria's Secret in gold. That's a vintage item or an older item. And this is a nightgown. It was in the dresses department and um, I got it for $6.95 because it wasn't a dress, so that's great. I love these small buttons at the bodice. This crosses over from cottage core to prairie to homesteading nightgown, all the keywords. So I was pretty happy with these two last finds. All right, not a lot this trip, but I still think I did good. And that's it for today. Love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.